Oh, hi. Welcome to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob. I'm going to start this episode with a little confession. I don't really have much of a sweet tooth, per se, but the topic of this episode has left me craving donuts like you wouldn't believe. This episode is devoted entirely to Springfield's most famous dysfunctional family, The Simpsons. I'm going to teach all my player twos how to draw characters from the long-running show, followed by a trip to the Classic Game Showcase, where we play the classic Simpsons arcade game. One of my favorites. Now, let's take a look at what we're going to be drawing this episode, while me and this guy get a little bit more acquainted. Don't have a cow, man. Oh, that was delicious. I'm going to teach all of my player twos how to draw Bart Simpson by breaking the image down into easy to draw simple shapes. But before we get started, I want to make sure everyone has their supplies ready. We're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black felt tip pen or a black magic marker to ink over our finished drawing. Once we have all our supplies in order, we can get started. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, player twos, let's start drawing Bart Simpson. We're going to use the same three-step process as we normally do. First step, I'll be drawing in red. This is a guideline step. This is where you press very lightly with your pencils. The first thing we're going to draw is a rectangle, but it's going to be at a little bit of an angle. Like so. Followed by that, we're going to draw a little rectangle right about here. And then, it's kind of a triangular shape, like a thimble, like so. Followed by that, we're going to draw a circle right here for his body. And as you can see, the image is already starting to take shape. We have the head, this is his mouth and his neck. This is his upper part of his body, and this is the lower part of his body. We're going to do two rectangles. One rectangle here, about an eight long, another one here. These are his legs. Then we're going to start right here, we're going to curve, the line underneath, and we're going to bring it up. Same thing over here. Line, curve, bring it up. Now since this is the guideline stage, we're going to be drawing through, which pretty much means we're drawing right on top of what we already have. When we go to the next step, we're going to add more detail to the drawing. So when we finish inking this, all these lines won't be there. So this is just helping us place all of everything where we need to place it. Next step, we're going to be drawing a curve, followed by a line right here. That's for a shoulder, followed by another rectangle, and then a circle at the bottom of that rectangle. This circle is just going to go a little bit past where the circle that we originally drew was. So now you can see we have the head, neck and mouth, upper body, lower body, legs, feet, arm. Since he's turned at a three-quarter view, we're not going to see his entire other arm, so we're just going to draw a little curve right here, followed by a line, because you will see part of the sleeve. And that's it for step one. We have our guidelines. Not that difficult, right? Now again, if your picture does not look exactly like the one that I have here, that's okay. It's not going to be perfect. We're learning a new thing here. If I'm going too fast, the good thing about this being on YouTube is you can pause your video, you can rewind it, and you can find whichever steps you may have missed or you may have messed up. Plus, since this is the guideline step and we're pressing very lightly with our pencils, we can erase whatever was, we, what mistakes we made very, very easily. We're on to the next step. This is the detail step. This is when I draw in blue. When I draw them blue, I want you to press a little bit harder with your pencils, but not too hard. So, the first thing we're going to do is starting right about here, 
we're going to draw two big circles. Okay, try to draw the same size that I did right here. So you have this much space on the bottom, this much space on the top. As you can see, those are his eyes. Then, we're going to draw, starting right here, we're going to draw over what we have already here. Just going to be like a letter J. Sideways letter J. That is his nose. We're going to follow our guidelines here. At the bottom of it, we're going to draw just a little bump. And follow it around and make a smile. Down like this, small bump, follow it around, you have the smile. Since we have our guideline right here, starting where the square is, we're going to finish that, go in through here, draw that around. So you have his lower lip, followed by part of his neck. Okay, we're going to follow the eyeballs right here to about right there and we're going to draw a letter C. Inside the letter C, curve, and a little line. There we have it here. So we try to keep this lined up with the eyes, like so. We're going to finish this little area right here with his neck. Follow our original guideline up here, and we're going to get to the top of the guideline. We're going to do his hair. We're going to do seven to nine bumps. Okay, so depending on how much space you have, try to keep everything equal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down at the top of the eyeball, just a little tiny curve. Not bad, right? Again, so we did the eyes, two circles, the letter J, followed our guidelines, brought that around here to give a little smile. We've got the little lip, ears, hair. We're gonna give him a couple of eyeballs. And right now, we have Bart Simpson's head. Now this is when it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's not even that bad because we've already broken everything down into steps. We've already drawn the basic shapes for our guidelines. All we have to do is just finish our drawing. Get a little curve right here for his collar. We're gonna go around his arm. Not all the way around, just to about here. Again, that's why we press very lightly with our pencils in the guideline stage, because we're gonna erase this later, and it's going to look something like this. Follow the arm down to here. And we're going to do right now probably the most difficult part of this drawing, but I'm going to talk you through it so it's going to be very, very easy. We're going to draw the hands. A lot of people have trouble drawing hands, myself included. So we're going to start off, we're going to stay within the circle that we did here. We're going to do the thumb, followed by one, two, three fingers, and then bring that around. Inside the circle, thumb, one, two, three fingers, and we'll bring that around. We have the shirt, we'll bring it out a little bit, we'll another sleeve, and we have his body. Now, right where the hand goes, we're going to draw two rectangles, one, and then one right here. Curve right there. So we just finished his pants. Okay, curve here, rectangle, rectangle, small little curve. First we'll draw his socks, oval, oval. And we'll just go over the guidelines that we did first. Here's the legs. We have his feet. The guidelines that we originally did. Then we're going to draw a little line right about here for the sole of the shoe. Same thing here. A little line for the sole of the shoe. And inside there is a curve for the detail. 
So there we have it. Step two is complete. This is the detail step. What we did, eyes, nose, mouth, neck, chin, hair, arms, upper body, lower body, legs and feet. Okay, again, if your image doesn't look exactly like this, it's okay. Just keep practicing. If you need to, go back, rewind the video. If you missed a step, um, your image won't look complete if you missed a step. So go back and try to find out where you made the mistake. This is the chance before we end up doing the finishing stage to fix whatever mistakes we made along the way. So now we're gonna start the finishing stage, which means we're gonna take our black felt tip pen or black magic marker and ink over only the blue line. None of the red guidelines, only the blue. So I'm gonna take the black, and I'm gonna start at the eyes. And I'm gonna do the nose. Now remember, the nose partially overlaps part of the eyes that we did. So we're gonna end up going in, and we're gonna erase this to have the face finish like that. Eyes. Mouth. Ear, hair, remember seven to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it down and around. I'm going to try to keep all these the same size as well. Next step, shoulder, arm, hands, shirt. Lower body, we got curve here, overlapping our original guideline. Rectangle, rectangle, and then a little curve right here where the rectangle is. Legs, socks, and finally. And there you have it. We just drew Bart Simpson. Now give the ink a few minutes to dry, and when the ink dries, take your eraser and erase everything, all of the pencil lines. But be sure to wait till the ink dries, because if you do that too early, you're gonna smear all your stuff around your page. Great job, guys. Welcome to bonus stage. Here's a little bonus stage for my player twos. I'm going to show you all how to take the original image that we drew of Bart Simpson and with a few minor changes we could transform this into Lisa Simpson as well as Maggie Simpson. Now the Simpsons have pretty much the same facial structure for everyone aside from a few changes here and there. So we have the eyeballs, nose, mouth, and jaw already done in the guideline stage. We're going to go right into the detail stage. Okay, Maggie and Lisa both have the same hairstyle, and it's going to be seven to eight points. So we're gonna start here at the top, one triangle, followed here by another one, and another one that goes right behind the other. Then we're gonna add a few more over here. One, two, three, four. For Lisa, we're going to do the hair, the ear right here, excuse me, go over the eyeballs, over the nose, same thing that we did for Bart Simpson, the mouth, the smile, Lisa also has four eyelashes makes her look more friendly. One, two, three, four. And then add four to five circles down here for the pearls around her neck. And see how easy that was? In a few simple steps, we turned Bart Simpson into Lisa Simpson. Same structure, eyes, nose, mouth, pearls. Now to do this as Maggie, a few little minor changes. All right, we're going to get rid of the pearls, and we're going to change the bottom of the mouth. 
Now she still has the eyelashes, she still has the nose and the mouth here, but right off the top here, it's gonna be a circle and two triangles. And that is for her bow. And then, the ever-present pacifier, we're gonna start right here, where her mouth ends. We're gonna do a circle. Backwards letter C, two small lines, another backwards letter C. And then we're gonna just have to change the shape of her jaw a little bit to add a little bit more depth. So there, now we have Maggie Simpson with her pacifier and her bow. Again, just a few simple changes, and there we have it. Hadouk! Awesome work, Player 2s. Now be sure to take a photo of yourself holding your artwork and send it to me at the social media links listed in the description below, and I'll be more than happy to include it in an upcoming episode. Now we're going to start the Classic Game Showcase momentarily, but first, here's a little word for my Patreon subscribers. On this episode of the Classic Game Showcase, I'm going to plunk a whole bunch of quarters into the awesome Simpsons arcade game. This game is actually the first video game based on the Simpsons, and in my opinion, it is by far the best. Published in 1991 by Konami, the site scrolling beat em up allows us the four players to take control of Simpson family members Marge, Homer, Bart, and Lisa, who are all voiced by actors from the show. The plot plays out like an episode of the long running TV show. Mr. Burns' Funky Smithers has kidnapped Maggie, and the Simpsons give chase throughout the city fighting off hordes of enemies in order to reach the Springfield power plant. The pursuit covers eight stages, each ending with a boss battle. When players reach the final stage, they must defeat a bomb-tossing Smithers before they take on Mr. Burns in his mobile battle suit, equipped with a variety of weapons. All players are controlled with an eight-way joystick as well as a jump and attack button, and each has their own distinct attack style. Marge swims a vacuum cleaner. Homer punches and kicks. Bart uses his trusty skateboard, and Lisa attacks with a jump. Each player has a health meter, which decreases after being hit by enemies, but can be replenished by picking up food items. Players can also get their hands on melee weapons such as hammers, bowling balls, and mailboxes, and in some cases, can even use a slingshot for distance attacks. This game also features two minigames, which players compete to be the first to either inflate a balloon, or wake up an unconscious player by tapping the buttons as fast as possible. Fans of the show will love the easter eggs scattered throughout the game, while casual fans will love the easy to pick up cooperative gameplay. The game was also ported to other platforms such as the PC and Commodore 64 in the past, and a few years ago it was available on the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. Unfortunately, those versions were taken down, and the only way to play this nowadays is if you manage to find one in an arcade. But don't have a cow, man. I'm sure there'll be other ways to play this in the future. I highly recommend playing this classic if you get the opportunity. Until next time. And there you have it. Another episode of Rob's Arcade in the Books. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow. Also be sure to follow Rob's Arcade on the social media links listed in the description below. Now we've given a lot of love to Nintendo in past episodes. We've drawn Mario, we've drawn Luigi, and we've drawn Toad. How about we give a little bit of that same love to Sega? On the next episode, we'll be drawing a blue, very, very fast character who loves chili dogs.
I'm sure a lot of my player twos will figure that one out. Until then, I'll see you next time.